All right, so it's Sunday morning here at Castelletto di Branduzzo. It's day two of the Supermoto of Nations uh, uh, World Championship here. So uh, Saturday went really good for Team America. We qualified P9 overall. There was a little bit of a complication on one of the races. It ended up being red flagged and the race got cut short. We had a really good opportunity to go P6 on the day and bump us up maybe seventh or eighth in points for qualifying, but we're happy with P9. We got a inside on row three, and so I think we're, uh, we're working on a strategy right now for how we're gonna do the, uh, the, the final two motos for the team. Um, first moto I'm gonna be with Sean Butterman, second moto I'm gonna be starting from the back with Bronson Pierce. And uh, I think we're just all amped up on the day. It's such an amazing opportunity, and uh, yeah, it's going to be fun. So right now, in the, we just finished up free practice. Track was a bit slippery. Uh, dirt was a little bit overwatered, and we have uh, a lot of mud dragged out on the track. So it's definitely, lap times were slowed down a bit, definitely more complicated. But uh, yeah, it's, it's going to be a great day. This track develops really good once it gets warm out. And I'm just amped to be out here with the boys. It's going to be so much fun being able to do this. Uh, this is something we've all wanted to do for such a long time. When we first started talking about the opportunity to do Supermoto of Nations earlier this year, um, it's just only been positive, positive um, responses from all of our friends and family and supporters. And so I'm just excited to be here and really show what we can do this year. You know, it's going to be tough to be one of the top teams, but as, uh, as the years progress, once we get more Americans over here, it's going to be an amazing opportunity to just keep doing this. And I think there's no, no better atmosphere to, uh, to be out here and fly our American flag. It's such a cool event, and I'm so proud to be a part of it. And uh, I got two of my close friends by my side, Sean Butterman and Bronson Pierce. And overall, I'm just, I, I know I keep saying I'm excited, but seriously, it's such an amazing event, and I'm just proud to be a part of it. Oh. My name's Sean Butterman. I'm out here riding for the PMA team in the 2023 Supermoto of Nations for the USA. And uh, it's been an unreal experience to ride the TM. Totally different motorcycle, but overall, I grasped it way quicker than I thought I would. A little bit weary in the off-road section on it, but what are you gonna do? Overall, the experience out here in Italy has been unreal. And to be able to do it with some of the guys I grew up racing, Nicky Reimer and Bronson Pierce, it's unbelievable. So to have the support from back home to make this possible has been huge for us. So many companies stepped up and it's been amazing. And I really can't thank my wife and my family, Nikki, Moz, Steve. It, and there's so many companies that I, I know I'll miss someone if I, if I try to list them all. That just thank you, thank you from the bottom of my heart for this. But this Castelletto circuit is, uh, one like no other. We got a sky section with asphalt jumps. We got an off-road section that's fast and skatey. And the asphalt itself is very technical. Lots of off-camber, lots of camber corners, elevation changes, leads to a very technical track. And we look forward to trying to send it out there today. Hey guys, I'm Bronson Pierce. Uh, we're here at Supermoto of Nations 2023 in Castelletto, Italy. Um, today is Sunday, yesterday was Saturday when we did our qualifying. Team USA qualified ninth, Nikki Reimer with a P9, I qualified P9 and Butters got P11. So it qualified us ninth overall for the um, races today. So we'll be starting ninth and 24th in all three motos. Um, I believe I'll be starting in the front in the first, my first moto and then in the back in my second moto. Um, yeah, just excited for this opportunity to represent Team USA and get to ride with some of my best friends, Sean Butterman and Nikki Reimer. So super stoked that we all get to be here and represent Team USA in the best possible way we can do it. Um, it wouldn't be possible without all of our sponsors, that is for sure, especially with our team manager, Steve Alkire. Uh That guy's done so much for us, got us this sweet swag right here. So definitely, uh, definitely big thanks to him. Big thanks to Mikey Helm as well. He bought us brand new fresh rubber. Uh, for the whole weekend. Um, so every session we're on track, we have the best we can possibly have. So big thanks to him. Um, big thanks to everybody else that's helped out. Uh, it wouldn't be possible without any of them. PMA racing team, uh, Moz has made the best possible 
um, pit setup. Um, everyone's super jealous of us, so Mazda's has done a great job representing Team USA. Um, so just super excited uh, moving forward. Today we uh, have race one, two, and three coming up in about an hour. And uh, yeah, we'll give you guys another update at the end of the day. Hey guys, it's Bronson. We're at the end of Sunday, end of Supermotive Nations. Unfortunately, wish it could go on forever. Um, but this experience was absolutely amazing to be able to represent Team USA with my boys, Nikki and uh, Sean. So, a uh, little recap on the day. Uh, I ended up P18 in the first race. I was running P14. I had a crash with two laps to go, tucked the front, um, got ran over, and then got back up and still finished P18. Um, race two started from the back, uh, worked my way up to 21st and uh, had a little fatigue, a little uh, hand injury from getting ran over, but you know, uh, it's always a good experience to represent Team USA and, and keep moving forward. Um, but yeah, we ended up 10th overall today, so it was super awesome to uh, get a top 10 for USA and uh, looking to be uh, looking forward to be being back next year. And um, you know, I just want to thank a big thank you to everyone that helped us out, you know, like Metzler, um, Flo, Mikey Helm, Meathead Movers, PMA Racing, um, Cartel Spice, Toxic Moto, Slide Moto, SoCal Supermoto, uh, Steve Sawyer family, um, MVD, Clutch Industries, you know, just anyone that helped us out, really big thank you to get you guys. Um, uh, Kawaguchi Honda, I'm just trying to, uh, RSM, uh, Russell Murray, appreciate you guys. Um, just trying to thank Metzler, Metzler was a big help uh, getting us some fresh tires this year, so. Um, other than that, you know, I uh, hope you guys appreciate this uh, recap video and uh, we're looking forward to uh, next year. All right, so we finished the day here today with P10 overall. My teammates, Bronson and Nikki, they pulled through for us. I went 22-19 in the motos, so my 22 score fell off. But overall, it's been an unreal experience to be here. We cannot thank everyone involved enough that made this happen. PMA was unreal. We felt, felt full factory this week, and I didn't touch my bike. I didn't look at tire pressures. Everything was taken care of. It was the coolest experience of my life. And I can't thank Bell Helmets enough for donating. We got custom painted lids. We got MVD made us custom leathers. It's, I can't express how grateful I am for this opportunity. It's unbelievable. To ride with the talent out here, it's so deep, and it's so cool to see how progressive the sport, or how how well these guys have progressed in the sport of supermoto over here. And it's been the neatest experience to get over here and ride Castelletto. The track itself is insane. I've got to ride it in video games before, but in real life, it's a real opportunity. So anyone back home that sees this video, if you ever get a chance to go to Europe, I fully suggest you take a trip to Italy. It's been amazing. And I, again, I cannot thank everyone that supported us USA guys enough. You guys, killed it and we appreciate you. So Supermoto Nations is a wrap. Uh, I think we killed it today. I'm so happy with how all the boys did. Uh, we rode great motos. There was only one crash during the race and honestly we still got a great score from that result too. It was, uh, it was a fun race all in all. It was amazing. I got to finish the day early. I did the first two motos. It was so rad to be able to finish up the day watching my boys race and cheer them on from the pit lane. Um, I'm just so happy that we're all able to do this. You know, We talked about it for a long time and for us to finally be out here. You know, America hasn't had a team in nine years and it's so cool to finally be back. Uh, and I wouldn't have picked anyone else to go do this with me. You know, Bronson's been racing the series all year. 
Uh, Butters has been pushing me around in AMA and it's just like we all get along so well and we've all been wanting to do this for so long it's uh, it's great that it finally happened. And I think we ended up P10 on the day which is a solid result. You know we were hoping for top 15. Uh, <laughs> no disrespect to the last team but they got 15th and we really wanted to beat them and uh, so we're happy with how we did. Um, yeah, it was great. We beat our friends in Australia. We beat a bunch of people that we didn't think we'd be able to finish ahead of. So uh, we definitely got humbled, though. The speed out here is insane. You know, each country in Europe has so many fast riders that I've been able to battle with in the World Championship this year. And so to finally get everyone isolated, you know, one moto at a time, it was really nice to be able to push. All in all, this event was so cool. And we got to make so many friends throughout the weekend. I'm so excited that Butters got to come over here for the first time and kind of see what we've been doing. And, you know, he got to enjoy it for himself. And I think everyone on this team really deserved to be here and we showed exactly what we can do and I just can't wait to, to come back next year and finish even better. Um, we had so much support from the US. A um, bunch of American companies really stepped up and you know they helped fund this as much as they could because we came into this all private funded and a lot of companies really stepped up to make this happen for us and we really couldn't be here without them. Um, it's, it's amazing to see how many people, even Europeans that wanted to, to come by and just give us everything that they could. You know, Brian Corand drove all the way out from France just to give us uh, some physical therapy stuff like I mean that's just one small example of the many that we had contribute to this project and it was so cool that we got to have our friends and family out here and really all the Americans rallied behind us for this and I hope when this video comes out you guys can all appreciate what we did and what we put into this and hopefully next year can be even better we had the most fun pit in the paddock so many people coming by wanting to see the American flags I can't tell you how many people asked us for USA merch it was really cool how welcomed we all were to this and so uh, all in all it's been a great weekend with my friends and I just can't wait to do this again. My name is Steve Elkire. I am represented as the team manager for Team USA here at Supermoto of Nations in Italy. It's been an unreal experience. We're extremely grateful and appreciative to be here. We've had a ton of help back home, but also an immense amount of support here in Italy from Alberto and the PMA team. Everything has started, in, uh, I mean, long time ago. Uh, during 2018 season of my uh, kind of career of supermodel, I moved to the U.S. for a race uh, just to be interested to what what's going on overseas in AMA Supermodel. So I started to do some AMA Supermodel races that year and then do all the season in 2019. So everything has started from there. Then uh, when I moved, when I came back in Europe, started racing again here, uh, I was doing S1GP World Championship. Then time was passing and I started my own team. I raced for Michele team, it was PMA, Pietro, Michele and Alberto and we started our stuff. So at the beginning I was racing in the team and then I become a father and get married, the time passing. I, I've been the coach of the team and also the team manager who decides everything about strategy, racing and everything like that. Uh, so started from the beginning to what I was saying is in America I had a lot of good battles with a lot of good riders and then uh, Nicky Raymer come over to race for my team in PMA and then Branson Pierce too and then we decided to do the nation here in Castelletto in my home track and it was amazing to be here everything was great I think the guy put a lot of effort to the results and yeah that's it just a great weekend Yee!